Hey guys, this is Scott at CircuitBasics.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your Wi-Fi dongle and Wi-Fi connection. In the last video I made, uh, I showed you how to set up your Raspberry Pi without a keyboard or monitor. And you basically connected it uh, to your Wi-Fi router and accessed the command prompt through PuTTY, an SSH client. So if you haven't done so already, you might want to go back and check that video out and figure out how to do that because we're going to be using PuTTY in this tutorial to configure our uh, Wi-Fi adapter and get your Raspberry Pi wireless and unchain from those cords. So, alright, let's get going here. First of all, you want to open up PuTTY and log in through your local IP address that you got from Advanced IP Scanner. All right, now, first thing we need to do is edit the network interfaces file. So enter sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash network forward slash interfaces. And this is the configuration for all the, um, basically the internet connections Ethernet and Wi-Fi. I'm going to put a link to the uh, blog post of this tutorial in the description. So you, if you want to just go check that out, I've got um, copies of all the code here. You can just copy and paste it. Um, it's a lot easier than just typing it in off the screen. So once you finish editing the file, just click yes and enter. Now we need to edit the WPA supplicant file. So enter sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash WPA underscore supplicant forward slash WPA underscore supplicant dot conf. So now you want to edit the file just like I'm doing now. You can find the code on circuitbasics.com. And in here, you're going to see your SSID. That's your Wi-Fi wireless network name. PSK is your password. And there's some other security settings here. But I won't go into those right now. So once you're done with that, Control X and Yes. And Enter. Now you want to reboot it. At this point, you want to go ahead and uh, plug in your wireless network adapter or your Wi-Fi dongle and power it back up. And we're going to check to make sure that uh, everything's OK. So go ahead and enter again your local IP address that was found from your IP scan. We're going to log in. Now, if you do this, type sudo iwlist wlan0 scan and then the bar grep essid. This will bring up a list of all the available wireless networks in your area just to make sure you're getting a signal from your own network. Now, if you enter iwconfig, this will bring up the wireless network that you're connected to. And you can see. Um, You've got the ESSID name, and you also have um, the link quality. 100 out of 100 is good. Signal level 100 out of 100 is good. All right, so now you know you're connected. But keep in mind, we're still connected with our Ethernet cable. So we need to now reboot and then log in through our wireless connection. Okay, now once it's rebooted, go back to I Advanced IP Scanner. And then run another network scan. 
now you're going to see your Raspberry Pi pop up here. And this IP is the IP for the Ethernet connection. You have a separate local IP for your wireless connection. And it might be different. It might not say Raspberry Pi. In my case, it says King John Digital Technology Company Limited, which is probably the name of the uh, wireless dongle that I'm using. So try to find the one that's new. It doesn't that you ha really haven't seen before. And that might be it. Uh, you might have to try a couple different ones first. But go ahead and get that local IP. In my case, it's 10.0.0.106. And make note of that. And go back into PuTTY. And enter that wireless local IP. And open. Now, since we're logging in to a different IP, it's going to bring up that security breach thing again. So just disregard that. and log in. And at this point you can disconnect your Ethernet cable and you're good to go. You're wireless. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and if you have any questions definitely leave a comment in the comments below. And if you need a more detailed description and you want to get the code for the um, network interfaces file and the WPA supplicant file, uh, check out the link to the blog post below. All right, hope you uh, have a great day. Talk to you later.